Okay, so today we're going to show you how easy it is to get started home brewing. The easiest way to brew beer at home is to use a kit. Mangrove Jacks have a huge range of different styles, different flavours that you can explore um, and brew very simply at home. To do this, we sell two starter kits. We do a Malt Miller one and we also do a Mangrove Jacks starter kit. So, in, in the kits you get a fermentation bucket, bottling brush, capper, which we don't need yet because we got nothing to bottle, some instructions, which we probably won't read because we'll watch a video on YouTube, caps, bottling stick, spoon, that's going to be useful, hydrometer, sanitizer, which we'll need, bubbler, tap and stick on thermometer. Okay, so the bits we're gonna need first of all are the fermenting bucket, sanitizing powder, the tap, the grommet, the airlock, and the spoon. So first thing before we start assembling all of this is we need to sanitize it. So in true Blue Peter fashion, we've already made up some sanitizer. Read the instructions on the tub, it tells you exactly how to do this. Um, so, we're going to sanitise the tap first before we assemble it. We're also going to sanitise, just drop the airlock in there. And we're also going to put the spoon in there. A good little tip, when you've mixed up your sanitizer, put some in a spray bottle so you've got that to hand and then you can use that as and when you need it throughout the process because you also need to make sure your hands are sanitised. So we're going to screw the tap in. of our bits and pieces in there, again, with a sanitizer. Okay. Put the lid on, give it a shake about, covering the hole on top so it doesn't go everywhere. Read the instructions, it'll tell you exactly how long to leave it soaking for. Um, 10 minutes is what it says on there. Okay, so we've taken the sanitizer out. Bucket's now ready to use. Um, we're gonna brew today Mangrove Jack's Pills Kit. Uh, this is a great little kit. Inside you get the instructions, you get the dry hot um, pellets, and you get the yeast in there. So you do need to buy, in addition to this, either a packet of enhancer to extend it. This is a 1.2 for this recipe or you can use brewing sugar, dextrose. The main pouch for the Mangrove Jacks recipes has two sides in there. So there's a wet side and a dry side. Inside there is where the instructions are, which isn't the best place to actually keep them because you want to read them before you start opening the bag. But anyway, so we're gonna, we've sanitized our scissors. We're gonna cut open the pouch. So inside of the pouch you get hops, yeast, instructions. These ones are important, we do need to read these, okay? Okay, so we've opened the pouch now, we've taken out the other pieces, we've read the instructions. The instructions tell us to add the pouch and the enhancer to the bucket three litres of boiling water. So this is the really nice bit because this smells fantastic. Rolling it up, you should then be able to squeeze out the majority of it. You want to get as much of this out because this is going to add flavour and give the sugars for the yeast to consume to make the alcohol part, which are the important bits. Now, a little tip if you want to get the most out of these pouches is you can add, add some of the water 
into the pouch to try and rinse them out, but be careful, it is really hot water. Um, so you might want to just sacrifice those little bits in there. Rolling it up and squeezing it does get the majority out of there. Don't forget, we've got our sanitized spoon, which we can get the last bits off. Last roll and squeeze. Yeah, I think we've got the majority of that now. Let's look at that. Okay. So slowly add the water and get stirring. You want to get this to all mix up and dissolve. Give it a good stir. Really get into the corners. You want to get this dissolved into the water. Okay, so we've mixed it up really well with the with the warm water. We now need the top fermenter up to 23 litres. There's marks on the side, so. Just continue to fill it up with cold water until you get to the desired amount. Okay, so now what we need to do is add the last bit of water to bring this up to 23 litres. Okay. We're going to apply the stick-on thermometer that comes with it. So we need to check the temperature. beer we've made. We're then going to add the yeast which comes in the dry side of the pack. This yeast with this actual particular pack needs to be around 18 to 20 degrees for fermentation. So we're pretty much spot on with 18 degrees there. Then goes the yeast. It's going to go on. The grommet. Airlock. Then we're just going to make sure we get it nicely sealed. Then we're going to take a hydrometer reading using the hydrometer. Check that we've hit the what it says on the instructions. And then in seven days time, we're gonna come back, we're gonna add the dry hop addition, and again, take another reading. So we're gonna show you how to take a hydrometer reading. So this is the hydrometer that comes included. This is the tube that it comes in, which you can use for taking the reading. Just ensure you keep your finger on the bottom of the tube. Okay. Slowly open the tap. So, hydrometer goes in like so. so. Now the bubbles have cleared. We're just going to have a look at the hydrometer. Just looking for where it meets the surface. That's 1058 is what we're getting as a reading. Now we're going to leave this to ferment for seven days, um, then come back and take another reading then do the dry hop addition as it hits 1025 because we've used the extract enhancer. Okay, so we've added the yeast, we've taken a reading. Um, you now need to keep hold of your instructions. Put this bucket um, somewhere where you're gonna get a constant temperature of around 18 to 20 degrees so that the yeast stays at the temperature it likes to operate at. Then in seven days time, come back, take another reading. Um, according to the instructions on this one, it needs to be at 1025. At 1025, you then add your dry hop addition, okay? In the meantime, keep these in the fridge, um, in the sealed bag. Um, 
leave it to ferment for another two to three days. After this time, you then start to think about bottling the beer. Um, you've got a couple of options, including with the kit, you get a capper, bottling stick, um, and caps, so you can reuse bottles that you've already been buying and drinking from by giving them a wash, cleaning them, sanitizing them, and then reuse them with the capper. Or the other option is you can buy some plastic bottles, some of the Cooper bottles that we sell, um, and this will do exactly the same. You probably need about two boxes of these to actually bottle this amount of beer. Okay, we hope you liked the video and found it useful um, and that it shows you how easy it is to get started home brewing. Um, you can produce 40 pints of beer within less than an hour um, and within the Mangrove Jacks range of kits that we stock, um, there's a width of selections of styles and flavours from stouts to pale ales to lagers to pilsners to howls to sours to ciders um, and you can get all of this very easily fermenting at home and ready within about 7 to 10 days. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and if you'd like the content um, you can find more of this over on themaltmiller.co.uk along with all the supplies and ingredients that you need to actually be able to brew your own beer at home and you'll also find more information about us on Facebook.